I'm Chevy, and today let's discuss YouTube's new censorship. I'm Chevy, and today let's discuss YouTube censorship. That's a good one. I'll take that one. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to the shed. It is Thursday, and I was going to talk to you about some gaming stuff today because last night I played some games, but I want to show you a game and I let the person borrow it for the last two weeks. So I haven't been able to show it to you. Oh, well. So when I get it back, I will show it to you. And so I had other games I was going to talk to you about, but today something happened here on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, you've likely heard about it already because I've seen a significant number of creators discuss it. And that is YouTube's new censoring policy. And that's what people are calling it. And that's not even remotely what it is. Um, essentially YouTube has an algorithm in place that looks at the content that people are creating. It uses the automatic closed captioning and voice to speech and all that stuff, uh, as well as what you write in your descriptions to determine whether your videos are advertiser friendly. And there are significant, um, things that could flag your video as, as not advertiser friendly, such as excessive cursing. We don't have a problem with that on this show cause I don't curse. Um, violence, excessive violence, or display of violence specifically, like uh, bum fights. Remember that garbage? That was like a disgrace to humanity. Um, political controversies. I don't know if that necessarily means uh, Hillary versus Trump, but I think it, what they're specifically saying is like um, political hate. Um, so essentially what YouTube has done has said if your videos contain this type of stuff, we're just not going to approve the video for monetization. And the simple reason is that advertisers don't want their ads appearing next to that content. It's that simple. I'm sure that if YouTube could find advertisers who were willing to advertise on uh, controversial media, that YouTube would do that. Like they're not throwing away money just to try to censor people. And that was the gut reaction from a whole lot of people was this is just YouTube trying to be, you know, trying to censor us, trying to say that we can't film what we want. No, that's not what they're saying at all. You can still make all the videos you want that say where every other word is a curse word and you just throw stuff and complain. That's fine. Um, YouTube's just letting you know, Hey, advertisers don't want this. So, that's your call. If you want to make that type of content uh, and not get paid for it, then that's your thing. Now, I don't really have to worry about this show. I don't really get paid for this show. Uh, if it ever becomes popular enough, then I might have to be concerned about the type of content that I provide. For instance, the uh, Controversy Week. Three of those videos were flagged uh, for monetization. Uh, the separation of church and state, the assisted suicide, and uh, one of the other ones. <laughs> I don't even remember what they were at this point. Uh, all got flagged for monetization, which basically means I cannot turn monetization on on those videos because advertisers don't want their ads appearing next to that content. Okay. I, I don't have a problem with it. I understand. I specifically talked about some things that are not easy to talk about. Um, but oddly enough, the concealed carry or gun control laws, that video wasn't flagged. And to me, that's a much more controversial topic than separation of church and state. Like why wouldn't that be whatever? But I guess the big thing that everybody's been pointing to is Philip DeFranco. If you've never watched his show, it's a daily news show and he talks about all of this stuff and his videos are getting automatically flagged because he talks about all of this stuff, but it's a news show like that. It's no different than if you turn on the fricking news. So to say that YouTube is censoring creators, that's not true. YouTube is just saying, Hey, Advertisers don't want to pay for this. If you want to continue to make those videos, that's your choice, but we're not going to pay you. 
you can still you're still free to go find monetization of your own. You can go find your own sponsors. You can go find your own ad revenue. That's no problem. You can use Patreon or use YouTube's tip jar, which I've never figured out how to turn on. Um, but, you know, it's an interesting topic, so I'd like to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below. Do you have a problem with it? I, you know, there's probably a reason, uh, you know, there's a reason why our mainstream media censors so strictly, and part of that is the FCC, sure, but another part of that is advertiser dollars, right? Like, there's, there are advertisers who simply don't want their money being spent to fund controversy. Okay. I don't really have an opinion either way because it doesn't affect me. But we can discuss it. That's what YouTube, that's what's great about YouTube. There's a comment section. So go down there, let me know what you think about this new policy, if you've even heard about it, for one, or if I'm the first person that you've, you know, heard speak about it. Um, YouTube has said that they have not changed anything other than they now email you when your video is not has been flagged. And they didn't used to do that. So now content creators are more aware that their videos aren't approved for monetization. I don't know. I don't know if it's changed or not because I haven't been on here long enough. I do know that there's an appeal process. If you feel like, hey, you flagged me in, you know, incorrectly, you can hit the button, essentially, and within a couple days, somebody will look at it and say yay or nay. Probably no, because they don't want to be um, contradictory, but whatever. It is what it is. So that's the big news for today. I thought it would be a, a fun topic to discuss. I actually have a significant amount of content for tomorrow, so don't forget, Fan Fridays, send me some stuff to put up um, on a Friday. Questions, pictures of your cars, uh, pictures of projects you've worked on, show me you know video games you've made or board games or uh, awesome photographs or send me some videos, send me some uh, random fact videos that I can put at the ends. You know, send me cool stuff to put up. Send me mail. We can put something on the wall. Whatever. Your stuff on Fridays. So make sure you participate in that. Thank you guys for being here as always. And liking and commenting and subscribing and sharing my video and my channel. I really do appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. You get chicken? Yeah. You get chicken poop? That was short. It was a short video today. It's only eight minutes. Eight minutes, twelve seconds. Look at this random cut out of a star. Yeah. Today's random fact comes from Wikipedia.org. How many states are in the New England region of the United States? New England is a region in the northeastern corner. <laughs> of the United States, consisting of Maine. Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. I thought New York was part of that. My my. Uh huh.